Greetings, it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to a new album review. Uh, as we do on Fridays when new albums come out. Um, today we've got the long-awaited new album from Cool The Shaker. Came out last week. I love Cool The Shaker. They're an English psychedelic rock band led by frontman Crispian Mills. Who has got a famous mum and granddad, of course. He is the son of Hayley Mills, and his granddad was the wonderful Sir John Mills. So they did; they were really came up to prominence in the Brit pop era. Um, and the good thing about this is, this is the first album with the original lineup since 1998, and it's the follow-up to the first album since 2022. Um, and it was great to see Jay Darlington back in the fold. He'd worked with the one he left. He'd worked with the Gallagher brothers, and uh, so this is the first of the original sort of lineup. So playing on here, we have got Crispian Mills, uh, Alonzo Bevan on the bass, Paul Winterhart on the drums, and Jay Darlington back on the keyboards and mellotrons and things like. That. So, the first track on this album is called Gas Lighting. Oh, the start of this, it's great to hear that uh, guitar, the psychedelic of Crispian. Uh, it sounds great, great, and you know it was cool to shake it from the minute you heard it. All the lovely tones and the Crispian's great vocal. The keyboard sounds great because, it's, of course, it's back with Jay and it is... Looks like they've never, he never left. It's a great track to open up. Uh, then we get Waves. Now, this is what I call good old style Cooler Shaker. The mystique sounds of the East are in this. Some great keyboard in from Jay. Um, just a solid track. Really good. And then we have the title track, Natural Man Magic. I wouldn't say this is one of my favourite tracks on the album. It's still growing on me. I do like the riffs in it, but it's just one of them tracks that I'm... You know you always have what, one or two tracks on albums and go, I don't know if I like this or not. And nine times out of ten, as you play it and you play it, you go, well, yeah, it's okay. I'm at that stage now with this one. I've been playing it all week, and I like it a little bit more than I did when I first heard it. So it is growing on me, but we'll see what happens, shall we? Then we have Indian Record Player. I think this is great. It's got a very 60s vibe, and that's one thing I like about Call the Shaker. They've got that 60s vibe on it. At it. Some great guitar tones from Crispian on this. Uh, I love this track. Instantly took to it, just like that. And then we get Church. Chura Laya, You Stole My Heart. Now, this reminds me of some of uh, 10cc's songs that Lol and Krem used to do, and, and some of their solo stuff. It's got... It's very English. That's all I'll say. It's a very English track. I love the trumpets on it. it, it it's... It's just an incredible track, um, which I'll put in the playlist, because I do love it. But my favourite track already on this is Something Dangerous. It is classic sounding Call of Shade. We've got a little bit of the C tar in there, the two tumble, tuba, tumble about drums. And it's that mi mixture of lot, sort of traditional Indian music meeting pop rock sound something that this band are so good at fusing that's absolutely brilliant track um stay with me tonight some nice guitars on this very moving as well it's a very ambient track and i think that the sound is as good as ever next up is happy birthday jay's keyboards are fantastic in there it's lovely to see him back in the band i love this track and crispin's great guitar work some solid drumming on this. And it's all the way through. The drumming uh, from Paul is really good. The guy just hasn't um, let off. Really still doing the business. 
Then we have a little track called I Don't Wanna Pay My Taxes. Little psychedelic thing. It's got a great bass line on here from Alonzo. It, you know, I love that track. Then we have F-Bombs. It's another one of them tracks that I'm not really getting into. But you never know, it may grow on me. Ask me again in six months. Uh, up next is a track called Whistle and I Will Come. Really nice melody this has got. Very catchy. Some nice guitar touches. Crispy and really good. California Blues. Again, bluesy. Nice guitars. Just a solid, solid track. Give Me Tomorrow, though, is a really nice gentle track. Some strings on it. It's very sort of pastiche in places. And it's a great album track to end at this album. Um, my initial thoughts on this is a very strong album. Certainly better than their last album, which I was not very keen on. The first Congressional Church of Internal Love and Free Hugs. It was a little bit strange. Uh, but this is Call the Shaker back on form to me. Uh, there's one or two tracks that still haven't grown on me, but the rest of the album is very, very good. Um, I wonder if it'll feature at the end of the year. There's a good chance this might get in, get mentioned somewhere, but at the moment it's just, just a real good album, and I've really enjoyed listening to this because it reminds me so much of their earlier stuff, like K, uh, which is a bonus. So I shall give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, that's all for this week from, from the channel. But if you tune into Vinyl Dale's live stream from 8pm tonight, yours truly will be on tonight um, supporting... Well, he's, he's channeled Vinyl Dale, but his name's Simon. So if you're not doing anything tonight, go and support Simon. Or just watch it in uh, the replay, because he does keep them up as well. Go and see what we're doing, and go and give Simon some support. So, I'll see you tonight if you're in there in Simon's stream tonight. If not, have a great weekend, everyone. And I'll be back on Monday, uh, and we've got an album ranking of... Dave Edmonds' band, Love Sculpture. And the classic album is another rockabilly uh, album chosen by my good mate, Lee, who uh, knows lots about rockabilly. And he has chosen Johnny Burner and the Rock Trio for next week. So, bye for now, everyone.